Bam! Mm-ha! Ooh, yes! Reaction noise! Survey! Balls! Yes, indeed. So, while we're on the subject of Mario Tennis, which is what they're going to be on the subject of all the time, what do I think of Mario Power Tennis? Well, I already said that I thought the gimmicks ruined it, but why exactly? Well, with Mario Power Tennis, it basically becomes a game of get the power shot and use it and win. Or get the power shot, get it defended by the defensive power shot, and then repeat. The old Mario Tennis was much more entertaining and furious in multiplayer matches. That is my opinion. Plus they removed some characters, I think. Like, I think the original one had Baby Mario, and the GameCube Mario Power Tennis did not have Baby Mario. Not that Baby Mario is an exceptionally important character. I think they also made Toad unplayable in the GameCube one. Then they decided they would make Wiggler a playable character. Wiggler. What is up with that? Honestly, now. Friggin' Wiggler. Can you imagine a Wiggler playing tennis? I couldn't imagine a Wiggler playing tennis until I saw a Wiggler playing tennis. Let me tell you, that was a horrific thing. Actually, it was pretty stupid and, like, badly graphics. I had al also forgotten, additionally, also, how long sets were. I guess these are important ranking matches, so they are super long. Smash Ace! I am the Super Smash Brother! Ho! Yeah! Suppose I would also- I suppose I would actually be a Super Smash Sister, based on my oh god I fall to the surf. That is uncool. No matter, we will conquer this day anyhow. Later opponents are much harder than this, by the way. In case you didn't suppose that already. Sometimes you accidentally cough up a lob when you are making desperate dives for the ball. The Mario... I actually own a Mario Tennis N64 strategy guide without owning a Mario N64 Tennis, Mario Tennis N64 cart. I don't own the game, just the strategy guide. And it repeatedly tells you strategies for making certain characters cough up a lob. Those are the words it uses. It's very interesting. I think in the Game Boy Advance Mario Tennis, lobs are much more useful on computer opponents. Though, of course, this is the first computer opponent of this game, and I have not played for very long, or for a long time, so I really don't know what to expect from later parts. We'll find out together. I'll find out this weekend, Labor Day weekend. Hopefully this game isn't way longer than I remember it being- Oh god, this guy is awful. Speaking of awful, if you were to import a freshly created character into Mario Tennis N64, they would be virtually unplayable. You would hit the button and they would pause for 5 seconds and they would not move because you have to upgrade reaction. They would run slower than a snail, covered in other snails, covered in molasses, being sat on by Bowser. Their shots would not pass over the net, ever. It really is quite atrocious. On the other hand, if you import an in-game character, you'll have trouble actually keeping the shot in the court because of how far it goes. Well, that is if you went the power route. Bam! Also bam. Kalooey! I 
I really do wonder what this guy's name is. I'm sure he tells you, if you ask. But we're a sort of a tennis first, ask later type of person. I think I just hit him in the, in the pants. That's a wide area that's not controversial, I'll just call it that. <clears throat> ah, catch that! Anti-ace. Not ace. Joker. As a fun fact, the, the default name for the female character in Mario Power Tour Tennis thing, Game Boy Advance, is Ace. Which is a little bit strange. We've got Alex, Nina, then the male in that game is Clay, and then Ace. What is she, like a tennis ninja? Raised by wolves, maybe? Do wolves play tennis? Somehow I doubt it. Serve the ball, monkey! Haha! <laughs> that reminds me of an inside joke that I had with my brother in the Mario Tennis days. We would, we would annoy each other by not serving, just constantly tossing the ball up, letting it fall down, toss it up and down and up and down. And I happened to be Donkey Kong and he happened to be Mario, so naturally the reaction was, Serve the ball, stupid monkey! Except my Mario voice appears to be not in working order at the moment. Point! Ah! That, that was awful. STILL THE MATCH POINT! I'll need all my concentration to stop being an idiot. This is really pathetic. There we go. Out! Deuce! You deuce bag! I hate you forever. Oh, I'm sure today not to introduce deuces. That is the same reason I'm If you get a deuce, you have to get two scores in a row to win. If you get one, you have to advantage. If they score, you're back to deuce. Got to hang out. So you're back to deuce. It's, it's quite deucey. Yes, both again, man. Both close enough. Look at all my skin go. I suppose tennis is quite draining. Oh, it's not ace. This is where it counts. Good. We're not stupid as we're And now he is dead. Mash me. Look at how happy our female character is. And how mundane his face is. Who is this guy, anyway? Ah, yes! The RPG element is invading my interface. 118 experience. You can give it to either your your character or your de doubles partner. I prefer to spread it evenly. Let's see, we have 28, that would be 14, and 14. Huzzah! Mathematical! And now we have to choose spin, control, speed, or power. In terms of N64 Mario Dennis, well, there are power characters, there are speed characters, there are technique characters, and there are those other guys who are really weird, like Boo and Koopa. So what do we aim for? Well... We can also go for all around, of course. For now, I think I'm going to go... for speed... and control. Just kind of out of nowhere. And for our doubles partner, power and speed. Just sort of chosen off the top of my heads. I am now fourth in the class, Tammy. But who are. I, I mean, wait, I. But who's this guy? Who are you? He's just mad. Did I defeat Anonymous? I, I don't think that's possible. Regardless. That was enough tennis for one day, I think. So, after one long, drawn-out, epic fight to the finish with a guy whose name I never learned, oh my god, there's a cat on my bed. Frickin' cat. 
What are you doing, cat? What? We are done for the day. And let us keep a record of our day. This has been Shag! That was the beginning of the Shag Labor Day Weekend Special Mario Tennis! Pretty rad. Oh! Hang on. We can learn this guy's name now! Can't we? Can't we? No? It is still a mystery to us! We will never know. The man who nobly sacrificed his tennis match to Tammy. This has been Shag. Good luck! <laughs>